Hello guys, John here. In this video I will recap some movie titled Tusk which was released in 2014. This is very terrible movie if we position ourselves as the main character in this movie. Instead of being curious, let's get into the movie. The movie begins with a podcast that is being conducted by two men named Wallace and Teddy. They worked on a comedy-themed podcast called Not See Party, a podcast they brought about the terrible silly thing in every viral video on the internet. At that time, they were discussing a viral video of a young boy named Bill Kid whose video was watched by almost 30 million views. In the video, Bill Kid is showing how to defend himself using a sword but accidentally Bill Kid instead cut off his leg until it broke. And it instead became the subject of a joke on the topic of the podcast with Wallace saying the boy shouldn't be sad because he's now viral and famous. Then Wallace decided he wanted to visit Bill Kid to Canada. While Teddy who has the trauma of traveling far away chooses to wait for him. In a short time, when Wallace had reached his destination it turned out that the boy had died by suicide because he could not stand himself living with a disability and always got ridiculed from his friends. Later, Wallace who was at the bar called Teddy to tell him that Bill Kid had killed himself. He then said why the boy wouldn't wait two more days to kill himself so I could have a chance to interview his stupidity, what a terrible joke. Then, when he went to the toilet Wallace saw a note that said about the venting of an old man. The old man wrote that he had a very good story and was willing to share his story. Wallace was immediately interested after seeing the writing and he intended to meet it. He thought instead of him coming home without bringing results at least he got an interesting story to take home and share in his podcast. After that he went to the supermarket to buy a drink and asked the cashier about a place called Bifrost. After getting instructions from the two cashiers, Wallace went straight to Bifrost by renting a car and traveling for two hours. After arriving, he meets an old man named Howard. Howard greeted Wallace very kindly. It turned out that Howard was paralyzed in his legs so he spent his life in a wheelchair. Instantly Howard began to tell his interesting story while Wallace seemed very excited to listen to his story. Howard began telling Wallace that he had been a chef on a ship. The ship is a hunter looking for a legendary great white shark that measures 7 meters by weighing 3 tons. But unfortunately, the ship he was riding in hit a wall of ice and instantly sank. That left Howard adrift in the dark waters of Russia. Howard continued to swim until he finally found a small island. On the island he saw a walrus who had saved him. Wallace who heard Howard's story began to feel something strange about the story and suddenly Wallace felt dizzy. It turned out that in the tea he drank had been mixed with drugs and immediately Wallace also fainted. It is Wallace's stupidity to trust people he doesn't know. Wallace also imagined a good time when he was with his girlfriend named Allison. And Allison warned Wallace not to go to Canada and threatened if Wallace left he would end the relationship. Suddenly Wallace wakes up and now wakes up in a wheelchair. He saw Howard holding something like a fang. Howard approached Wallace and gave him a drink. Howard explained that Wallace was unconscious because he was bitten by a poisonous spider that made him faint and made his feet swollen like an elephant. Then Howard decided to call a doctor to treat Wallace. But at that time Wallace could not feel his leg and when he saw it turned out that his leg had been amputated. Wallace seemed to not believe the story that had been told by Howard and indeed if the poisonous spider was just Howard's lie as an excuse to cover up his cruelty. At nightfall, when they were having dinner Wallace seemed to have no appetite because of the events that had befallen him. But the assumption turned out to be wrong. Wallace was silent because he could not move his whole body it was because Howard had given him an anesthetic all over Wallace's body that left him paralyzed. Howard also apparently lied about his paralysis then Howard explained what he was going to do to Wallace. Howard said if he wanted to turn Wallace into a walrus named Mr. Tusk. Wallace who heard it could only scream out of fear. On the other hand, Wallace's girlfriend who is in Los Angeles is now very worried about Wallace's situation and she is also seen confiding with another man who is none other than Teddy who is Wallace's best friend. Allison assumes that Wallace cheated because it had been three days Wallace never gave him news. 
Meanwhile, Wallace who was asleep suddenly woke up after hearing a call coming in on his mobile phone. But as he tried to answer it the call was suddenly cut off. And now he tried to call his girlfriend but it went unanswered. He sent a voice note asking for help to Allison. Then Wallace called Teddy again for help Teddy who was looking to brush his teeth realized the call but Teddy ignored the call because tonight Teddy will get satisfactory service from his friend's girlfriend who is lonely. Wallace didn't give up and continued to send voice note to both of them. The next day, when Allison woke up after a night of fun she saw some missed calls from Wallace. Allison tells Teddy that Wallace sent a voice note asking for help because he had been kidnapped by a violent old man. After hearing the news, they went to Canada to look for Wallace. Meanwhile, Howard begins the action by cutting off Wallace's body parts as well as sewing his skin to get in perfect shape. After a process that takes a long time, now Wallace has fully turned into a walrus with fangs taken from his calf bone and a body full of stitches he was tied up and treated like a walrus. Wallace was dragged into the water to adapt to his new body but Wallace struggled with his new body so much that he drowned. When he was in the water, he was surprised when he saw the walrus carcass which was certainly made of humans. It turns out that not only he was the only victim but many victims before him who had been made like that. Meanwhile Teddy and Alice who continue to search for Wallace's whereabouts try to go to the car rental and police station but they do not get any clues. The police also reunite them with a detective who turns out to have been looking into the serial murder for 10 years but until now the case has not been solved. The detective said that the bodies that are often found are always in strange conditions. With the legs cut and hands sewn into the body and then in his mouth has been attached a kind of long fang like walrus fangs. Actually, the detective has stopped looking for this case but because someone is looking for the same case then he is very ready to help them both. Now Howard seemed happy with his success. He told Wallace about his love for a walrus that had saved his life. Then Wallace was fed raw fish, because he was very hungry Wallace was forced to eat the fish like a walrus. Howard, who saw it, became even happier as Wallace became more and more like Mr. Tusk. The next day, Howard returned to train Wallace to swim. While swimming Howard retells. In the past, when he was stranded he was forced to kill the walrus who had saved him in order to eat and survive. But after that, he felt guilty for the rest of his life and wanted to make the walrus named Mr. Tusk come back to life. On the other hand, Allison Teddy and detectives searching for Wallace's whereabouts find Wallace's car that was thrown into the water and allegedly disposed of intentionally. Feeling their position was close to Wallace, the detectives give weapons to Allison and Teddy to protect themselves. Later, when they found Howard's hiding place, they began to hear strange screams from inside the house and it turned out that it was Wallace and Howard who were fighting. But this time Howard wears a walrus costume and fights like a walrus. Howard said that the Mr. Tusk he killed had no chance to fight with him who had killed and eaten him. And now, he wants Wallace to fight him as Mr. Tusk. Wallace must fight or he will die, but even if Wallace wins he will never return to being human. With his anger, Wallace stabbed the psychopath's legs and chest many times using his fangs. And the expression shown by the psychopath was like feeling relieved because he already felt innocent again and assumed Mr. Tusk had already avenged what he had done to him in the past. And that old psychopath died. Finally Allison and Teddy arrived at the place. They also did not expect when they saw Wallace's condition that had turned into a very terrible creature. How not, just imagine if your boyfriend was like that. Then when the detective came and saw Wallace he felt that even if Wallace lived, Wallace would suffer his whole life. The detective decides to shoot Wallace but the action is stopped by Allison. One year later, we are shown Allison and Teddy whose relationship is getting closer. On that day they came to an old zoo that was deserted visitors named Manitoba. As it turns out, Wallace is now housed in the zoo. Allison remembers her good times with Wallace, but now everything has changed. Wallace could not feel the beauty of the world because now he had been a walrus for the rest of his life until he died. Allison gave him a fish and said I've always loved you. Then, Allison came home and Wallace could only cry lamenting her fate.
and the movie is finished. Conclusion of this movie. Howard is a psychopath obsessed with a walrus who has helped him when he was stranded but he must kill and eat the walrus he named Mr. Tusk in order to survive. He also felt guilty for life so tried to make walruses who have feelings like Mr. Tusk. He decided to make a walrus made of humans who clearly have feelings. If you watch this movie until credit scene there is a talk on the podcast show that discusses walrus made of humans that are used as a joke as Wallace had done to Bill Kidd. In other words Wallace had obtained karma from his own deeds. If you like this channel don't forget to like share and subscribe to support this channel. Thanks for watching this video until the end, see you in the next video.